Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Today I will be calculating quick ratio for Marks and Spencer for year 2017 and 2018 using their financial statements taken from the annual reports for 2018. Liquidity ratios are an important tool to analyze the financial performance uh, for business in the area of liquidity. Liquidity means an organization's ability to pay off its obligations, debts, overdrafts, or suppliers' money when they fall due. So if they have to pay £50,000 in a month's time, do they have uh, £50,000 to pay off uh, or not? If they are unable to pay off their obligations, then they could be in trouble. Their lenders could go to the court to get them bankrupt and then the business assets would be sold to pay off its liabilities. And it does happen quite often with the businesses who are not able to pay off their loans. Quick ratio is a very similar ratio to the current ratio. However, it takes away the inventory from current assets. So the formula for quick ratio or asset test ratio is current assets minus inventories divided by liabilities. The reason we take away inventory from our current assets is because inventory is the least liquid asset. Normally, you will see uh, three assets in the current uh, assets area, and these are cash, account receivable, and inventory. And mostly around 90% of the current assets comprise of uh, these three assets. Cash itself is cash, so there's no problem there. Account receivables are quite easy to convert into cash. If business is in trouble, they can chase their customers to pay them early. However, if the customers don't pay them early, uh, they can also sell their receivables and get a loan against those receivables. So it can be converted into cash fairly quickly. However, when it comes to inventory, inventory is very difficult to sell on a short notice. Normally, you would have seen 50% sales and 70% sales. And this is an effort to sell the inventories quickly. And you can see that uh, around 70% of the sales price is not recoverable if the business is selling their inventories at a 70% 70 70 discount. So this is a, a, a good example. In my personal experience, when businesses are closing down, most of their inventories is discarded because they are just unable to sell it. So let's look at Marks and Spencer's quick ratio now and see what the results we can see there. Current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities I already have these figures. All I need to do is uh, take away the inventory figures, which I'll do later. Just trying to work smart rather than hard. So inventory figure would be given in our current assets. So if we go to current assets, the first figure is inventories. 7.81 and 758.5 for 2008 and 758.5 Doing the maths, twenty one seven nine minus seventy one divided by and uh, then again for two thousand seventeen. Seven, five, 
divided by and we get our results as 29 pence for a pound in 2018 and 41 pence for a pound for 2017. Uh, we can see that uh, quick ratio has uh, deteriorated quite significantly uh, in 2018 in comparison to 2017. We could calculate uh, the percentage deterioration, which would be 0.41 minus 0.29 divided by 0.41, and that is a 28% decrease in our uh, quick ratio. Both of those are far below ideal ratio. Uh, ideally, it should be one ratio one. However, uh, we can see that they have only 29 pounds for every 100 pounds to pay if all of their uh, liabilities uh, have to be settled um, uh, quickly. And then 41 pounds for 100 pounds in 2017. For retailers, normally these ratios are uh, in in this area. They are not um, they are not out of the place results. These are quite expected results. However, uh, if your uh, business is working in manufacturing sector, then their quick rate should be a lot more. So while you are interpreting the results, make sure that you always link it with the scenario with the situation. If you simply say that um, uh, this ratio is way too low than than the ideal without thinking that's a retailer they don't really need to keep that much cash you will not get marks for that analysis i hope you like the video thank you very much for watching this and i'll see you in another video soon